Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to EU4 and the Sweden is not overpowered campaign. So I had a little bit of a look around between episodes, and we might actually be able to get a stepping stone into the HRE here. I got a claim on Rostock, and since Palatinate, the Palatinate of all people, is the current emperor, we should be able to do something about that, even though he is about to institute Reich's Regiment, probably. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. He's got some support. Brandenburg wants Poland to be the emperor. Yeah, the HRE is quite divided right now. Austria uh, has lost his emperorship and is losing a war to the Ottomans, which is absolutely fine with me. That's right. I forgot about our institution spread. So Schmaland has it, which is awesome. I mean, Skane will get it even sooner, which is perfect, which... Uh, 1478, that's not bad. So we could actually turn on institution spread here, and I think we will. It's a better use of our ducats. Let's see, do we have any other edicts going? I forgot we had that one. Double check, doesn't appear so. Nope. No, we don't really have any other edicts going at all. Let's look at these... Orthodoxy provinces. Yeah, no, we can't convert them yet. We need some more missionary strength. But we are going to look at this as soon as it ticks. There we go. We have our conquest CB. Nobody wants to join. Scotland says it's the distant war. Brandenburg has a truce with Mecklenburg. Brandenburg is now done fighting, apparently. What about you? Um... Brunswick, not an issue. Well, actually, looking at Brunswick, I looked at them between the uh, episodes as well. We could try and improve and get a royal marriage and just hope he doesn't get an heir and then go for the claimant of the throne. We'll see. You know, we're going to try that because I don't play in Europe very often and I know uh, personal unions actually are really important in Europe. I'm terrible at getting them, though. So we are going to see what we can do with that. I doubt much will come of it, but we'll see. We will see. We have our claims on all of Denmark, mostly, and some of Norway. We'll be fine. Yeah, no, I think we'll be absolutely fine. Let's take a look at the knightly orders. You guys are marching back here to deal with separatists. Fine. So, oh. Oh, Muscovy broke their alliance. Okay. Okay. Let's look at this. They're still mutually friendly, but their alliances are broken. Excellent. Let's check this. Yep, Muscovy is not to, uh, guaranteeing independence or anything. We have to recover somehow, though. We have to. We can't keep going war to war like this. Our manpower will never recover. Although we are making some pretty solid money right now. Because we have no advisor. Uh, let's take a look, see what, how close are we to the next tech? Quite a ways, actually, quite a ways. About to get Diplo Tech 5, Admin Tech 5 would be lovely, so I think we are going to hire an Admin av Advisor. No, we're not hiring an Orthodox guy. Um, well, you are cheap. Sure, you know what, it's fine. It's fine, you maybe have a different religion, but I don't think that's an issue. In fact, if we wanted to, we could promote him, but we're not going to because we can't afford that at all right now. Glad he is half price because we are starting to make some solid money. We do have a loan. Oh, oh no, our great general from the uh, from the um, from our nobility died. Let's see about that. Yeah. Oh well, we had 46 army tradition of our own. You're pretty crap. So I think we actually are going to roll for a general here, and I am going to name him after one of our very own Swedish subscribers. Let me check on this. Do do do. Just making sure. All right, Elias. Hope that's how you say your name. You are a decent general. You have two shock, which is better than the other guy. So you are now in charge of the Swedish army. Don't mess it up. We need you to be good. Our manpower is slowly recovering. We have to build up some form of an army, though. So there goes our manpower. 
Yeah, that's my. That's, it's probably my fault we don't have any manpower. Well, absolutely my fault we don't have any manpower, but that is beside the point. So we can let this tick down a bit longer. I really don't want to give these guys any more land because we are going Protestant and they will lose that plus five extra land demand for being Catholic. And we need that gone. We need that gone quite a bit. All right, so Norway has a claim on us. That's uh, adorable. So let's look here. Still no legal heir in Brunswick. Your prestige is pretty crap still. Disputed succession. Can we make anything else happen? I think Brunswick is going to be our best bet. Although East Friesia, no. No, I don't think East Friesia is really worth it right now. Really worth our time. All right, army is ready for these Novgorodian separatists whenever they decide to fire. The sooner the better. The sooner the better on those. So, in fact, we'll actually pull back to Nyland and go ahead and resume drilling the troops. We did sack our professionalism a skosh in that last war. Well, to deal with some uh, rebels, I should say. How is the... There we go. Devastation's finally coming down here. Excellent. This province is starting to actually make money. Let's see how much it comes down in a month. Didn't make us any more money, but it comes down by 0.8 a month, which is awesome. So, Muscovy, I am your only enemy, and Uzbek. Let us hope Uzbek can put up some form of resistance to the Muscovite aggression. Otherwise, they're going to come knocking. So, let's look at Pomerania again. Keep an eye on for our on Brunswick. Excuse me, I was gonna say Brandenburg. So if we can improve enough, if we can improve our relations with Brunswick enough, we can claim the throne, and then we would be fighting Cleves, Pomerania, and Saxony. And I think we can actually handle that. But then again, we also can start looking at the knightly orders now. You guys are, you guys have the alliance with Muscovy. Oh, okay, Lithuania took some of this land. So I think we actually do need to move in on this very quickly before the PLC can grab it. Let's see, it is some decent land. It would quite help our economy. It would quite help the economy. But we'll see, we'll see. If we can try for a uh, PU over Brunswick, I think we will take that over the knightly order land that we can come back for at a for, at a future date when they have been eaten up alive again by the PLC. All right, so we're going to stop drilling now because the Novgorodian separatists are going to fire. As soon as I talk about it, they fire. Awesome. That's cool. We will wait another month for another morale tick. Actually, we'll probably wait till we're at full morale. I don't want to take any chances with that. Let's look at Brunswick again. Oh, we're getting closer on that uh, royal marriage. So we just got to keep improving relations and hope that he does not have a uh, an heir between now and then. Because we're going to try that. It may end up costing us pretty badly. So what I will probably do is between episodes, I will more than likely create a save file split in case things go horribly, horribly wrong. Which it would not be the first time with this campaign. The last time we tried this, it ended right about here. So, back to Nyland for you. We're gonna shift consolidate, which is fine. We do, we're not at a manpower deficit anymore, which is awesome. Absolutely spectacular. We yet do have some manpower to play with. Back to drilling. Uh, we can't quite pull the mercs out yet. I'll tell you what, I'll, re I'll pull the not full health merc out and you can go the way of the dodo, sir. Alright, now we really have to give the clergy something. Because they're pissed. I'm tired of giving the clergy land, though. We've given them all the one development provinces we can. Oh, I lied. This one. There you go, have it. Now quit complaining, damn it! Alright, so the army will be beefed back up very slowly. 
fact, I think we're going to go back up to 14 and 4, burn through all of the manpower we had. We need to get our, uh, we need to get our army on point because still no legal air. Ooh, we're close. We're close. We're going to try this. Now, do we have any cogs? We have five. Hmm. There's a good chance they'll get military access through the Danes for us. Our truces are up. Ah, uh, yeah. Truce with Norway is not up for another nine years. Or Norway and Denmark. Excuse me. So, we'll keep replenishing on up. Build this army back up to its full fighting potential. Which we desperately need it to be. And I want to try and get some ideas in this episode. I would love it if we could get to Admin Tech 5, but it seems super unlikely. How's our air? You are pretty solid. Oh, uh, 325, yeah. You know what? This is fine. Eric, or Carl, you have done well-ish. Your traits are great, but, uh, yeah, your Monarch points are bad. So, go retire to Gotland and enjoy the good life. There we go. King Eric is now on the throne, and we actually get some Monarch points. Oh, oh, sweet Jesus, we get Monarch points. There we go. So much better. So, I w I'm going to leave it there. Well, you know what? Let's pull it back for a balanced focus. 677. Seven. That is absolutely fine with me. That is absolutely fine. We are getting some Monarch points, finally. This is wonderful. Absolutely fine. So, our manpower is coming back more and more. So, Scotland wants a royal marriage. Let's hold on. Before we do anything, I'm checking all the diplomatic stuff. Okay, let's go ahead. Ooh, legitimacy. Oh, we'll take it. So, we have a Scottish consort who's actually not half bad at all. 244, four, that's not bad at all. So, let's keep an eye on this. I'm actually going to pull the army back from Nyland. I'm going to pull you all the way back to Schmaland, actually. I'm going to keep calling it that until someone corrects me. So, uh, if that's not how you say it, please correct me. All right, there we go. Marriage with England. Our prestige is garbage, which means, actually, that's not good. We need to recover our prestige before we can claim the throne. Ah, uh, you know, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I don't like this, but I want that army professionalism. I think it'll be absolutely fine. So, our devastation here is gone. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Brandenburg wants a marriage, that's fine. Go ahead and continue to check disputed succession. Bosnia... I don't think we're going to be able to do anything. Recall our diplomat. Um, you know, I actually don't really like being out on that island, so we're going to pull back to Gionj, actually, behind a fort. And continue to drill. I kind of balls this up because uh, the prestige thing. So I think we'll be okay, though, as far as prestige goes. I think we'll be absolutely fine. Now let's get a claim on Wismar. So, threaten war for Wismar? You would consider it. Interesting. You. Threaten war for Straussland? No. Ooh, Denmark has allied uh, Pomerania, which is fine, though, because during that war, we can use that to break Pomerania up with his other allies, which are Mecklenburg and Brunswick. So, we're going to keep an eye on this for sure. I don't think anything will come of it now because I doubt we'll get the prestige back fast enough. But, hey, you never know. Stranger things have happened. What are you guys doing? Get out. Get back to protecting trade in Novgorod. Hmm. Lubeck makes us quite a bit of money, actually. But, still, yeah, Novgorod's the best for us. All right, we can repay our own, so that's exactly what we're going to do here. Now, I want to check something. I think we would actually make more money by moving our main trading port into Lubeck. 
So, as bold a decision as this is, we do have the Monarch Point generation for this now, finally. So I'm going to move the main trading port to Schmaland. So, that means we pull out of the Lubeck node now, and we need to reshuffle our trade. Alright, so the trader in Novgorod is now useless, and he will be collecting trade from us for us in Lubeck. You guys, cancel your mission. You guys will be protecting trade in the Baltic, because I think that will make us more money. So right now we make 2.49 ducats a month off of trade. Let us see what happens at the end of this. So, here we go. Two po oh, 3.55. There we go. There we go. You collect. Oh, nice. That's perfect because you still collect here. Let's see if transferring trade power would actually make us more money in the node. So, 355, let's check that. We'll let a month tick by. See if that changes. If not, we will go back to collecting from the uh, Baltic. Ooh. Ooh, until January. Oh, until the end of the game. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, of course we're going to take a plus 5 morale bonus till the end of game. And cheaper, 10% cheaper infantry. Of course we're going to. I mean, how can I say no to that when we're almost at 20% army professionalism now? So, 355, five, let's see what this happens. 287. No, I think you are going to go back to recalling or collecting from trade in the Baltic. That's fine. It made us good money. Either way, we still make better money than we did off of trade, which is awesome because trade is so powerful in this game. You make so money. All right, yeah, three, five, nine. That is perfect. And as the dev ah, the devastation's gone. Excellent. We're gonna leave this fort up, due to the fact that it is well, it is the Danish capital, and they're probably gonna come knocking for it at some point. So, I don't think we can take on these little miners of Mecklenburg. Let's see anything change for Wismar? Nope. I need to let us look around a little bit. So, Poland has gone ahead and declared Muscovy an enemy. I think we're going to have to focus on killing Muscovy first. So, to that end, hmm, how a Polish alliance. Let's see, what other rivals does Poland have? You know, I think this is fine. I think this will be fine for now. We will have to turn on them later. But that's okay for now. Let's see. Ah, that's right. Eh, well, we're gonna... Er, we're gonna burn Diplo for this. Um... I could axe the alliance with Scotland. You know what? No, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how this goes. It'll be fine. I don't like burning that one Diplo a month already. We don't even have any policies set, which is not good. But there we go. There's our Polish alliance. This is good. This is very good. So what if I was to call you in on war? Huh, okay. Have I claimed any land? Apparently I have a claim on Colm. Interesting. I view this as uh, vital interest. Now, that might actually affect our relationship with the Poles. So we're going to leave it be. Alright. Alright, I think things are moving along swimmingly now. I am much happier with our current uh, king. Getting 10 monarch points a month as a pair as compared to four with the previous ruler. Massive improvement. So what we're gonna do, let's get a spy network in against uh, the Teutons and the Livonians, because I do believe it is about time we attack the knightly orders. But 
I believe that's going to have to wait till next episode. So, as always, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you are enjoying the series, please drop a like down below as it really helps the channel out. And remember to subscribe for more EU4 Cradle of Civilization content. My name's Ori. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and we'll catch you in the next one.